Hello there, and welcome back to Greece in the Bronze Age. We are playing with the Marianu mod, and if you are enjoying this content, you should subscribe to keep up to date on all future videos and campaigns. What we're doing now is we are attacking into Asopos. These men here are relatively weak. They're not as weak as our other foes, and they do have a friend who isn't actually in the war. So hopefully we can do quite well with that. So we're going to move this um, marker down to down to here and raise the men over here. Hopefully soon we'll be able to get some money. What I'm going to do is probably not start fabricating new claims for a little while because I do want to try and have some uh, unique forces here. We have a daughter, Anika. Let's uh, hope that she grows to be wise and strong. We gain prestige from having a daughter. Well, now we have available perks. We can uh, fabricate hooks. We can uh, have fertility, seduction power, dark insights. I'm going to go with like a weed in a garden. I would like some fertility. We have a dynasty to grow. Now these chaps appear to have been sailed away. Hopefully they don't go anywhere near my cap because we wouldn't have much time to get back over there and deal with them. We're going to continue in full speed. Ah, they have arrived. Three months versus four months. We're going to have to go straight back and fight them in our capital. For us to arrive there, it will take... Two months. Okay, great. So we're going to go over there and deal with them. And as I was saying, I'm going to continue in full speed because we are still doing relatively easy things here. Okay, let's try and uh, cash them over this way. So we're a bit bigger of a battle. I don't think they have. They do have some special forces. Well, hopefully they're not special enough to deal us some blows. No, they are being absolutely destroyed here. Excellent. They still do have enough men for a siege, however... In total, there is uh, four. There's 500 of them in total. So what we're going to do... Is split off a new force of levies. I think 400 here might be enough to go and deal with this siege. The siege of their capital. The rest of this army... I'm going to go and try and deal with these fellows. And they've left again. Well, let's uh, just simply march the army down. No, let's go over here. That's where they want to go. Let's go and get them there. Excellent. They, no, they're trying to leave again. Let's continue following them and hopefully catch them. Good. We'll lower their numbers quite substantially here. And, uh, well, quite substantially, they were actually stack wipes. We even killed one of their champions. My champions still have not lost a single man. Let's go ahead and move this army down this way. Oh, it looks like they believe we would lose. And that's because they are only levies, of course. Let's put somebody in charge. My half-brother, perhaps. I would be his heir. No, we'll keep up. No, we'll, yeah, we'll put our half-brother in charge. Let's see how he gets on here. As for the rest of my forces, we are going to want you to come down and uh, deal with these fools afterwards. It's a shame to send our half-brother into such a battle, but... Uh, I'm sure he'll do some work here. Passing suspicion, you say? It is a well-known fact that the courtiers will scheme and plot, but I may be able to use this to my advantage. If I keep my quarters suspicious of each other and distracted with inch fighting, they will not have time or resources to scheme against me. Well, I do like that idea indeed. I'll begin to spread rumours at once. There is a 47% chance of failure. Let's not take that chance of failure. That seems a bit high. In that battle, we lost 149 people while killing 31. Not worth it at all. It appears though that my brother is still alive, so we're not in the worst of positions there. The army has once again left. I don't see where to. So we'll just go and begin this siege. No, they appear to be going back around. Can I... this station procedures here? And take the rest of you over to here. We'll uh, amass this army together. Ready for if our foes want to have another fight over by our capital. Yeah, they've gone back to sea again. They uh, really don't know what they're trying to do, do they? Exquisite suffering. I am no longer satisfied with the regular tortures I have become known for inflicting on my prisoners. I wish to create a masterpiece, a work of art which enshrines anguish and suffering, transcending all that I have done before. Love is pox, you say. Filler is perfect or there is a proteus here. Are either of you ransomable? No. And... No, let's, let's not become a torture. I'm not comfortable with that. I, I do not wish that to be what we get on with here. Let's uh, unite these two forces together, though. 
And let's see what we can do with the prisoners we have. Corator here. He is a title. He is a uh, a lord of some sort. He can be ransomed with 12 gold out of 30. Not good enough. This man here, he's just useless though. He's a brilliant strategist, but he's not very good at anything else. Let's still try and uh, negotiate his release. We'll have him recruited. Excellent. Let's uh, see how he likes that. Not terribly. He likes us less now that he's released. Fila, let's negotiate your release. We'll uh, recruit you and hopefully get a grand warrior over for a marriage. Can I not? Let's uh, pause the game here and let's uh, go over to our court once again. Find characters unmarried. There is the high shaman. She can't marry. Fila cannot marry. What? In that case, dismiss her. She can't marry and she has a lover's pox. I don't need that in my court, do I? Right, there is Protus though. He can marry, so let's try and find him a decent wife. 25? Sure. 23? Of course, bring her over. Now they are landing. Let's see if our army can go over here and destroy them. I believe it's quite equal. And excellent, this man has accepted the marriage proposal. Let's see if we can win anything over here. Come on, chaps, let's have a bit of a fight, shall we? Excellent. We do have a terrible battle advantage, though. My vassal here has been injured. There is nothing that can be done, however. Doesn't matter, though. We have won, and they no longer have enough forces to be able to siege our capital. So we'll just simply move our army into his lands to try and get some more sieging progress. This horse will be done shortly. Excellent. 80% war score, and I'm sure we would have found someone there, prisoners. We have found his daughter, excellent. Well, let's ransom her back for 10 gold. Is this guy back yet? She's still 12. I'll take it, because he's not exactly going to have an income, is he, under these current circumstances. Excellent, we'll take all of that money. Now, I would like some more expert troops. That's what we're going to save up for. Man at arms regiments. Now, you are 100 gold for the guys. They're light chariots. My god, look at the power on the chariots. Okay, I want to save it for some chariots there. Full maintenance, 2.42 a month. The uh, main thing here is actually covered. Plus, there's only going to be 25 of them, whereas with you guys, there's 100. I think it's still worth having just 25 of you. Let's, uh, let's keep waiting for chariots then, I suppose. We could go on a raiding expedition, and that would allow us to have everything there. Is he able to seize my... He is! How many people are in my capital? 276. Just like the other children his age, my son and heir Perseus sometimes lies and tests boundaries. However, he often avoids suspicion with his sweet demeanor, and people always forgive him when he ge does get caught. I wonder just how much he gets away with. He has gained charming. Right, we have this siege here and this siege here, which are going to finish before that. Likely. Let's uh, let's risk it here for a biscuit. Let's try and gain 100% before he wins my siege. And we have done just that. In fact, he did actually take my capital. Um, or less enforce our demands before he's able to do anything with it. Excellent. We have gained more land. And we can't personally hold it. Let's expand our forces. And try to save up some money for a short moment. We're above our domain limit, of course. Let's see what I could do. We could try and find a new lord in the realm. Let's reset to defaults. And let's sort by prowess here. Ayet says he's not that great, actually. Nobody's going to be that great, are they? But still, let's grant him the title down here, perhaps. No, let, let's, let's grant some land to my son. He's old enough, isn't he? Let's see what I could do with you, though. Let's sort by uh, prestige gain, perhaps. A Minoan here, Princess of Crete. Okay, let's go ahead and go with that marriage. A great match, if ever there was one. Now let's grant him, him some lands here. We'll grant you that and that. Good man. That does take one province away from me personally, but I'm sure we'll be able to gain that back soon enough. Excellent. Is she the heir at all to this land? No, there is another one. But we could always try and make her the heir now, can't we? And inherit the entire island of Crete. 
Excellent. Let's uh, let's just wait for a bit though, because I do want the 200 gold so that we can go through with that. No prisoners anymore. We could go through decision pilgrimage. So decision. I don't want to do any of that. Council will just leave where they are. My wife is pregnant again. She doesn't seem to know how to stop. Let's have a look at the uh, lordships, however. There is. That's my lands. I'm trying to look at this title here. You're part of the kingdom of Freya. Ah, so that'd be the duchy, yes? So I can't go ahead and uh, create anything for you. I don't hold Freya personally. This guy does. We could hide him underneath my son. And make my son a higher lord, but let's not. I do like having people directly underneath me. I even He's not even directly underneath me. Okay, well let's go ahead and create this if I can. No, it's going to take money. Okay, well, let's not worry about that then. I want my 200 gold. I want my chariots. Petty neighbours are going to war with each other. Good for them. Another son! Excellent! We'll name him uh, after me again, yes. Achilles, of course. May you grow to be strong and wise. Oh, we can have him killed. We'll gain stress and piety. Let, let's not do that. So let's go ahead and name him Achilles. You're allowed to have two sons, at least, aren't you? Surely we do have the money now, however. So let's go ahead and recruit some light chariots. Some great pursuits there. They are going to slaughter everyone. Very good. Now let's get our cancel here to start fabricating more claims. We'll fabricate a claim on this man over here. He's relatively weak and right there on that border. My dynasty is now known far and wide. Let's have a look at my dynasty. Legacies. Uh, a little bit of renown at the moment. Yeah, let's try and get this uh, splendor up, shall we? It would be great. And I can unlock a new perk there. Removes your attraction penalties in seduction schemes. Seduction power scheme. I'm not so interested in that. Truth is relative. Could be useful. But what I want... Plot power. Plot power is down this way. So let's go ahead with that. My uh, fertility, though, is doing very well. Free children. Free. Greetings, my liege. It seems that my dealings with Damrakos, uh, Damo Koros, Aid Menaus, I have accidentally made certain promises of exemptions from his obligations. I have tried, but I suspect there might not be any other way out of this by now. You fool. You fool of a man. We should probably replace him then. Amphiwalos. Is there anybody better at your job than you? No. He is still the best man for the job. Out of the lords, of course. Because that is all that really matters. Marshall, no, it appears we've got everyone who's best at their jobs in their jobs. So go ahead and leave them to it. Very good. So you are Lauagatas is above... Well, not Prince, but Domokoros. Okay, we'll learn this as we go. Oh, so you enjoying being part of this realm, my vassal, and... Heck, what what I? Of love and lust. They, those dreaming expressions and wistful sighs can only mean one thing. My brother is longing for romance. Perhaps I should put my matchmaking skills to the test and ease his sufferings. He would surely be grateful. Yes, he won't be lonely for long. In order to find Mega Pente's perfect match, I must know more about his preferences. By discreetly observing his interactions at court, I could get a glimpse of his innermost desires. Perhaps I get started, or before I get started, I should have a theory in place. What do I think he would want in a partner? Now, he's not very good at anything there. Attractiveness, he's callous, lazy, arrogant. Doubt he would like someone who's like him. So let's go with uh, attractiveness or power. Aaron's lazy, no, he's not in power. Let's go with uh, attractiveness. A claim again, see it done. We'll be in debt for a little bit. But that's fine by me. We'll get out of there soon enough. I have observed him for some time now, and my conclusion is certain I was mistaken. He does not seem to differentiate between those blessed with good looks and those who are plain. He must care more for personality, or power. Now that I am a little more acquainted with his desires, I have made a list of potential matches. Who would he like best? Clino? 
the High Shaman or Croat or Corthor. Uh, what is he? Oh, he's a heterosexual man. So let's not pick the other man. Let's go ahead and pick the woman here, Cleano. She is lust for herself. To get a first impression of the equal quality of my match, I host a small dinner with both of them as guests on the list. I do did not see any definitive signs, but they did get along very well. I must strike while the iron is hot, giving them both another chance to meet. This time I'll arrange something more exciting, an opportunity for them to share a common interest. Um, a trip to go and inspect the infrastructure? I don't think so. Private dinner to share some gossip? She's not very intriguing. He's a little bit. Perch 90's diplomacy is low, hers is high. A merry dance. None of these really. Let's go over a merry dance and see what happens. Of lust and love. To my chagrin, a dance turned out to be a terrible idea. Everything looked terrible. It was almost painful to watch him struggle. He kept to himself for us the whole sad affair, not even sending a single glance her way. It is time to face my defeats. They will never be. No, we did try. We tried our best. And, well, that wasn't good enough, I'm afraid. These islands are all very interesting. Maybe we'll be able to uh, take care of a fair few of them as well. Anus will guest has arrived. He is uh, a eunuch, but he can fight. We could recruit him. How much would he want for that? So, 130 gold less. Let's not worry about that, shall we? Let's worry about going to war with this man. Let's go ahead and declare the war for our claims. Excellent. So what we'll do is we'll move this here all the way over to here. And let's raise those chariots. Let's see how good they really are. Excellent. On the front lines you go, chariots. Let's see these men absolutely slaughtered, please. Well, it appears to work. We uh, only let three of them survive. The chariots killed only 15. I'm surprised. I thought they would have done a lot more than that. They had men who did some good on the battlefield. Oh, we just uh, got a siege. So we'll go straight over to full speed again and hope that it goes well. However, our money not doing great here. Why? Raised armies, of course. My chariots are very expensive. Endless hearings. Not a day goes by without some new inconsequential matter being brought to my attention in court. Say it seems like it is Amphilos and Soros turn to waste my time in a petty dispute. They would have me believe that this is an issue placing the very safety of the realm at risk. Yet I cannot shake the feeling that they are largely overestimating the severity of the situation to feed their own egos. We can have to set them both, or we can get a weak hook for stress. Um, let's get a little bit of stress here. Who do I want to have hook on? Who do we want to hook on? Remember, more intrigue. Yes, you, Soros. Next, let's have a hook on Soros. Now, what can we do with it? Anything at the moment? No, we could modify his feudal contract. Getting a little bit more money out of him, but it's not actually going to do anything, is it? We'll have him protected, but paying more tax. Sure. Or we can just have him pay more tax. Sure, let's just have this man pay a little bit more tax. The siege is nearly over. My poor son Achilles has consumption today. I was given grave news. He has fallen ill with consumption. The future is uncertain. Deathling is closely by his bedside. Yet he might survive. Only Diowas knows. The physician wants to know how my son should be treated. Ah. The time has come for drastic measures. Greatly reduced symptoms. Well, thank you very much. Let's go ahead and uh, win this war here. Excellent. We have gained a land personally. We're we'll keeping, uh, keeping it in our hands for now. This fool here is raiding us. Let's go see if we can put him down. He is relatively fast, but we can chase him back in his own land if we need to. We don't. We can just find him right here and chase them away with our chariots. Our grand chariots. They appear to be doing very well, though. 
they have some uh, macemen and light footmen. We'll have to get some more troops ourselves when we have some money. We won't have money for quite some time. But we have defeated them. We uh, lost half of what we killed. Chariots did very good. Didn't even lose one. Achilles. A spineless lackey. That's the man you have on the front lines, is it? A resentful follower. Yes, your, your forces are definitely definitely the kind of people you want on the front line. Now we have four months. Are we able to go over here and siege his capital? No, we probably could go over and raid though. It's just uh, no one's going to be disbanded. Why? Why can we not be disbanded here? Enemy or hostile armies around. Um, my king's lament. We need those resources for the troops. If one small village in my king has to starve. The heated argument between my counselors follows me out of the room. And Wan Kwan, the representative from my king, greets me with tired eyes as I approach. Here, the decree will force them to leave you alone. Yes, yeah, so let's let's go with that. Let's get you guys disbanded, shall we? Excellent. Oh, we are a little bit low on money. I would like to try and continue growing here, but we can't do anything about it. All we can do is raiding expeditions. Not, not arranged marriage, that's not what we're after here. Yes, raiding expeditions. Is our culture... No conscription, that'd be fun. Tributaries. No. Um, no, just uh, aristocracy there. Early hoplites, ooh. 54 years resists is 45 years away. 45 years away. 44. Let's, let's go through with the uh, whole place there. Okay, well, that'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this campaign so far. I, I'm i sure we'll have all of this land and some other island colonies soon enough. We just need to have our money keep up. Now, I have got some forces who are going to be costing us money, so it will be a little bit slower. But as we get bigger, our money will increase. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. Goodbye.